things are going great. The church is filled with a ton of people willing to step in and we surround each other. But then when there's a crisis or something that's not going so well, we tend to step away from people. As a community, as well as a church community, we need to come together and always embrace whether things are good or bad. When things are up, when we have that good job, that large home, that fancy car, then we have people surrounded around us. But then when things go bad, it might just be something minor as a job loss or maybe a death in the family, then it's always feel like you have to pull teeth to get people to come together. Why not just stay together at all times, whether that's in the church or in the community, why not bring them both together and create the community within the church? It's as simple as that. So I don't know if I have the magic answer, but I think that is what we need to do, create the community within the church. that people that go to churches that aren't in their community, I think that plays a big part in why some most members are confined to the four walls. I know for me, the church that I grew up in um, is in North City, but I've always lived in North County. Now before that, you know, my mom and, and my dad has been there for years, and they grew up in the city at one point, but I didn't. And I know that there's a lot of people there that never grew up in the city and are always in the county. So when they come down there, they just stay in the church, do not go anywhere around there. You go there and you come home. Community is gathering a group of people for a common cause or goal, really igniting a sense of empathy and connection between a group of people. really developing a relationship with your community. Community is so important. We're always focusing on, you know, getting kids to after school programs. We're always focused on getting cops to have relationships with the community. But what about the church? The church and community are, I think, interconnected. They're not mutually exclusive. So most times, and I'm just saying from my perspective because I'm a black woman, in the black community, the church is an institution that is intertwined in the community. It's an institution that's situated around groups of people, so they should be connected and they should be um, one with community. My name is Shirley Jackson, and I wanted to talk with you just a little bit about what our church is doing, particularly to reach out into the community. First of all, Transfiguration is located in the heart of the city, and we're actually close to probably at least three or more schools that are within the St. Louis Public School District. So what we've decided to do was to adopt a couple of schools that we will partner with throughout the uh, school year. One of the schools is Jefferson Elementary and I believe they go from kindergarten through the fifth grade and the other school is Cora Lane which is also a uh, sixth through eighth grade school. So we're excited about the partnership opportunities and we plan to look forward to being at these schools, whether as mentors or as the tutors for that, to see how we can reach the students. If we say we want the world to change, if we say we want it to have an impact, then we have to come out of those four walls at times. We can't just come out of those four walls just to fellowship in our own little cliques, in our own little circles. We must um, be available 